So, we are here in the last uh, part of our experiment here. It's getting interesting because now we'll start seeing some of the results of our, what we have done. So, so far you have uh, collected the specimen, <clears throat> you have classified them, you have put all your data on the table that you have got from uh, the website that is indicated, <clears throat> you have written down all the various species that you have found, and now you have to submit uh, this data uh, on, the, on, the, on the website. So we have here the website, we have found 25 different species on our sample. That was pretty, pretty interesting, yeah. right? right. And, and what, what do you uh, think? A lot. Huh? That was a lot. It was surprising even for us. Yeah. Uh, what do you think they should, how many species they can uh, find in their sample, more or less, normally? What is normal for a, for a soil that we find? Soil, I, I think uh, 10, uh, 8. You should, you should, you should, uh, you should uh, find uh, somewhere between 8 and 10, 12, 15 uh, species. Uh, if you're lucky, like we were, you find you find a lot. 25. We had a lot of work. Uh, Paolo yeah. here, Dr. Machia, uh, worked really hard to identify all these 25 species that we have done. So we go on the website, we write the number of species. Yeah. Then we click uh, submit. On submit. We submit once it's done. So then uh, we have to write down every single uh, species that we have uh, previously marked on this uh, form. With the number of species. Exactly. So what, what, we, what you have to mark down is the, the species, and we told you earlier how to identify new species. Then the number of specimen of that specific species. Uh, yeah. We have almost completed this uh, long 25. We have the last one to be yeah. put in is uh, Diplo, D I P L O. Yeah. D I P L O. S P. S P. Two. 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 It means we found two of those uh, little animals in there. Uh, number of specimens? I uh, no, no, sorry, sorry. D plus two is the type of uh, the na name of the specimen. Then you find one, one, one of them. Okay, one. Once you have uh, completed the table, you transfer all this information in there. Yeah. You will see there is a button that says submit. Submit. So uh, when you do this, the website will start all sorts of calculations. Uh, don't get um, um, don't get afraid when you or scared when you get the next uh, page because you get the a page with a lot of formulas, a lot of uh, things that are, that are interesting uh, for, for uh, people like uh, Paolo here. Yeah. They get really crazy with the, the this, with the scientist. Uh, you need to really take a look at just one, uh, uh, one of these uh, parameters, which is also written here on the table. It's called equitability index value. That means if the number of species in that uh, sample that you have taken uh, is balanced between them. If there is not the dominance of one specific species, if there is a biodiversity, so it's, it's yes. essentially telling the health of that specific uh, sample. Uh, to get that, uh, that uh, number, you go down on your table on the left and there is a, a place that is called uh, Equitability index, a complicated formula, you don't really need to read it. What you really need to read is the number, which is the result of that formula. The computer does the calculation for you. In our case, we got 0 0.8673. 0 0.86. So you will get you will get a number that is uh, between 0 and 1. And it's usually it's lower than 0. But the closer the number is to one, the better is the this uh, equitability index. It means the, the soil is balanced. If it would be fully balanced, a perfect uh, sample, uh, it should be one. But it's rare that you get one, right? Yeah. And, yes. uh, and if you have a poor, poor samples, if you have poor, uh, very few things, and they are not really balanced, you get a very low, very low number. So. In any case, the number you get is an indication of the biodiversity in your uh, in your sample. You write it down here, equitability index value. We got 0 0.8673. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And then, what do we do, Paolo? 
And then, and now we have finished. And that's it? Yeah. Oh, so we got all our information that we were looking for. How many species we found uh, in our samples uh, and uh, how good is the biodiversity in that samples. This and is a very, is very, good. very important information. Uh, to check if uh, if a species is not dominant or dominant in a specific area, and it's good that the species is not dominant, right? Yeah. It's it's good that there is biodiversity, that you find a lot of stuff, that you find different things, and you find them balanced, uh, not 25 or a single species and one of the other. They should be more or less the same number. That gives a health a status a health status indication of that uh, the sample of soil yes. and probably the whole area around. Sure. Okay? okay, we will collect all of these data from all of you, from all over Europe, uh, uh, all over the world actually, and then we will try to make a map to see which are the areas that are best and which are the areas that lack a little bit of biodiversity. This will give us uh, new information, we will use them in the future. See you. Bye. Thank you for, uh, for your help and your work. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed what you did, we surely did. Uh, and we'll see you in the next uh, adventure. Ciao. Ciao.